Hi, I'm James Stewart. I'm the author of the book you're going to be using to learn calculus. I'd like to chat with you to explain how you can make good use of the book, videos, CDs, and your lectures in order to succeed in calculus. Many students find that calculus is much more difficult than the mathematics they've previously studied, such as algebra and geometry. Perhaps the reason that the ideas of calculus are elusive is that calculus deals with change, with motion, with quantities that approach other quantities. You can, nevertheless, be successful in your study of calculus if you approach it in the right way, namely, actively. When you read the book, be active, not passive. Have pencil and paper and calculator at hand to check calculations or draw diagrams. Before trying the homework exercises, read the section, including the examples. And before you look at the solution to an example, cover up the solution and try doing the problem yourself first. If you struggle to solve the problem first, you'll get a lot more out of the solution in the text. Likewise, before you watch one of the videos, try the problem yourself first. Then, when you watch the videos, you can appreciate better what the instructor is doing. I think you'll find the book in these videos very helpful in learning calculus. But even more important is attending the lectures. To illustrate how you can make the book work in conjunction with the lectures, I'd like to tell you a story. A few years ago, I was invited to give a lecture to the professors at California State University, Sacramento. I arrived early, so I passed the time sitting on a bench enjoying the good weather outside the math building. A student came along and sat down on the bench beside me, took out a book, and started to read it. I glanced over and noticed that the book he was reading was the calculus book I had written. So I introduced myself to him as the author of the book he was reading. Well, of course, he was surprised. I then asked him if he was reading the book to study for a test. He said, no, I don't have a test, but I have a calculus class later today and I'm reading the section corresponding to today's lecture. Well, I said to him, I'm happy to hear that. How can I get my own students at McMaster University to read the book before class? He said to me, tell your students that whenever I look at the book before going to class, I understand the lecture much, much better. Well, I suggest that's a great way to make the book and the lectures work with each other. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know you won't always have time to do that, but whenever you can, try to read the book and read it actively before you go to class. Another thing I think you'll find helpful is a CD that comes free with the book. It's called TEC, T-E-C, Tools for Enriching Calculus. Calculus often deals with things that move. That's difficult to depict in a book but it's easier to show on a computer screen. When you see this tech logo in the book, it refers you to a module or a visual on the CD where you can see things move and gain a better understanding of the idea being discussed. Tech also has what we call homework hints for the exercises that are indicated by printing the exercise number in red. These hints act like a tutor they ask you questions to guide you in the right direction. If the first hint isn't enough for you to see how to do the problem, click on the next hint, and so on. Well, it's time for you to start your study of calculus. You might want to begin by reading the preview of calculus just before chapter one. There, I discuss some of the big ideas of calculus and some of the questions that you can answer with calculus. I wish you well in your course, and by the time you graduate, I hope you will agree with me that calculus is not only practical, but also a beautiful subject in its own right.